Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, it is Fun Day Friday, which is a new series we're going to be starting here on our channel. This week we're going to be going fishing. I want to take you guys along with us, but before we go fishing and head out, I want to give you a fishing report at our local lake, which is Caddo Lake. So let's get to the video. Well, we're gonna start out with Caddo Lake State Park. It's been closed for roughly two weeks because of all the flooding. Lake of the Pines is still about a foot and a half high. I've got pictures, Angie and I went out there below the dam, that's the most water we've seen down there. Lake of the Pine, when it drains off and they've got the spillway running, it runs down to Caddo. Caddo's been flooded for two weeks now. The State Park boat ramp's been closed. I understand Highway 43 boat ramp is open and it is potential that one or two of the boat ramps there in Uncertain are open as well. But call before you go, guys, because I haven't, I, I wasn't able to get a hold of anybody this morning. It rained again last night. I think we got another two inches over the course of the night. So the flooding expected to continue. Next up, as far as the fishing report. Okay, so for the Caddo Lake perch report, the perch are getting closer into the shallows right now. They are actually hitting on crickets and worms, the red wiggler worms. They're getting ready to spawn, guys. It's getting close. It's fixing to get really, really exciting out there at Cattle Lake with this perch spawn coming on strong. Catfish have been in the all the shallow areas where it's been flooded. If you guys know where the golf course is or the Frisbee golf on Caddo Lake, they've been slaying the catfish over there with worms underneath the bobber and just fishing that flooded park and all that area. The catfish are up there going crazy because of all the flooding. So it's not too late to get in on some good catfishing. In the creek fishing video today, guys, we're gonna be doing something fun and kind of different. We're gonna be seeing what, what performs best, corn or worms. Let's get out to the creek. I've got a few fish, stick around to the end. You're gonna see one of the smallest perch you've ever seen in your life. I'm still not certain how he got the hook in his mouth. So let's get after it. All right. The fish just jumped over there. I'm gonna put this lid on the corn. <laughs> that stuff stinks so bad. I bowled it up with garlic. And oh man, I think I think my bobber's already under. Yep. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah. Oh, he's our no way. I hope I didn't just break off, but I think I did. Well, that was quick. It took that corn lickety split. Well, we still got a hook. That's a good sign. That was amazingly quick. put that a little bit I know that that water is only about a foot and a half two foot deep over there right underneath the edge of that bridge that's the one with the corn to the left the green one over here if you can see it has got the worm on it all right just a real quick update so far we're at a 50 50 shot on both I've bobbers gone under on both of them once with the corn once with the worm haven't landed nothing yet. So I don't know if they're a small perch or what they are, but went to set the hook each time and ended up with nothing. Fish on. Finally, got a fish on, guys. This is gonna be with the worm. And it is a beautiful catfish. Look at the size of this catfish. Well. I'm not certain how I did that. Look at how beautiful he is. Good looking catfish. All right, that's one for the worm and zero for the corn. But we've lost several pieces of corn and several pieces of worm. I'd like to see a big catfish take this thing. One of them. Ah, oh, dang it, I left the jar upside down. Or right side up. Creek fishing. Deep East Texas. Got fish on. Another one. Another catfish, guys. 
Another catfish. No? That's a little bass. Check this thing out. A little bass. All right, so that's a bass and a catfish off the of homegrown worms. He's a good looking little graphical, ain't he? Look at the size of that thing. We'll get him unhooked and get him back in the water. All right, so that's one bass, one catfish on the worms. Nothing on the corn yet, guys. I'm, and you know there's nothing scientific about this. But I will say this. There's just no telling what you'll catch with a worm. He's still on, guys. I don't know what it is. It's really tiny, though. Look at the size of this thing. Can you see him? Let's see if we can get that snake to move. There he goes. That snake. Snake's like, leave me alone. Leave me alone. That would probably be really good if I had a big hook to put him on and throw back out there. That's probably how we'd catch a big catfish. Oh my goodness. My lands. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this hook out of him. Oh, there it did. Popped right out. Popped right. Oh, dag nabbit. Let's get him back in. There it goes, guys. I don't know if you can see him. Beautiful snake. Like I say, he's got some orange bands on him. Kind of black in color. Maybe two and a half foot long. I don't know. Beautiful snake. Inconclusively. Man, that's a lot of big words. Well, I can honestly say this. We gave it a good go, guys. We're going to have to review this challenge later on when the fish are biting a little bit better. We're definitely going to have to continue this challenge. We don't have enough evidence right now to say one way or another. We lost a lot of corn today. Never could land anything off the corn. We landed a couple of small fish with the worms. Of course, that's to be expected. We, knew, we know that fish like worms. And especially this time of year when you're getting them spring showers and stuff like that, that's probably a main staple for them because it's constantly washing in from the rains. Again, guys, thanks for taking the time to watch our video. We appreciate each and every one of you, and we wouldn't be doing these videos if it wasn't for all the great support that we get from you guys. If you guys are new to the channel, I'd love to talk. Joining our family right here on YouTube by clicking the subscribe button down below. Again, have you ever fished with corn? Have you ever fished with worms? What is some of the best stories you have? Comment down below and let us what your favorite is with the corn. If you guys are interested in how I made this corn, and it, I made it last summer, and in fact, when I was making it, I was thinking, hey, I'm gonna chum the waters with this stuff. I have since found out that you cannot chum water in the state of Texas with corn. You can fish with corn, but you can't chum with it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Again, we appreciate each and every one of you. And until next week's video comes out, check out one of our playlists up here. Again, we're going to be bringing you the fishing reports every Friday, just in time for the weekend. May you all have a blessed week, and let's get outside and make something happen.